today let's talk about the difference between the selection tool and the direct selection tool in Illustrator. So the selection tool, the black arrow, and the direct selection tool, the white arrow, will probably end up being your best friends in Illustrator because you'll use them very frequently. So the selection tool, you can use this black arrow to select any shape, object, or picture in Illustrator to move it around, to scale it up and down, or to rotate it. Very useful tool to select anything that we want to select in Illustrator. White arrow, the direct selection tool, we can use that to select and adjust anchor points and paths in an object, whether it's a singular object or it's grouped together. So I can use this direct selection tool, the white arrow, to select parts within this grouped object and adjust those separately without ungrouping the object. I can also select the actual points of these shapes. And you know that you'll select the points because they will actually highlight blue as you click on them. You can hold down your shift key and select multiple points at the same time. But as you select these points, you can actually click them and drag them to adjust them exactly how you want them to look. You can even select certain areas where there is curvatures or certain paths and you select those points, you'll see these handles appear and you can also adjust the curvatures of your objects as well. You can also even delete points as well. It's really up to you, you just have to practice using your direct selection tool. Now because you'll use these tools so frequently, you can easily adjust uh, and switch between both the direct selection tool and the selection tool by hitting your keyboard shortcut. The V key will take you back to the selection tool, the black arrow, and the A key will switch to the direct selection tool. So these are easy ways to switch between your tools. So continue to practice your selection tool and your direct selection tool, and I'll see you in the next one.